In this game, I'm a mother who's been bitten by a zombie. I'm going to have to take care of my kid and teach them how to take care of themselves before I turn. Let's take a look at Undying. I've been meaning to play this one for a while. You know I love my parenting games and we're getting back into them on the channel. So like and subscribe if you're new here to see even more. Let me know in a comment what you think of this one. And if you were in a zombie apocalypse, where would you go? Let me know what your zombie apocalypse survival plan is in a comment. And let's begin. It has been four months since the outbreak first hit. But it's feel like a lifetime. In order to keep as many people safe as possible, the military have turned subway stations into refugee camps. They plan to extract each camp until they have extracted every living person in the infected area. Today, our group is being extracted. There we are. Mom, where are we going? Well, first of all, your name's not Cody, it's Klaus, so get used to hearing that. Somewhere safe, Cody. Klaus. Will Dad be there? <sighs> I hope so. There, that should do for now. When we find time, we'll need to fix the others. I'm scared. Ma'am, I'm scared. There's monsters. Cody? Oh, Balbe, we're safe now. And Mama's here to look after you, okay? Uh, Mom, are you okay? Ma'am, your arm. It's nothing. Just a scratch, that's all. Why don't we take our mind off things? Let's see what we can find around the house, okay? okay? Good, let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dead end. Mom, are we safe? I believe we are safe for now. The pain from the wound on her arm made Anne Ling furrow her brows slightly. Mom, your arm. It's all right, dear. I'll just find some bandages to wrap it up. Stabilizing an injury. So we're gonna find some bandages here. And I believe we are essentially going to be playing as this mother trying to get her kid to safety or set him up before we turn, which is such a great concept, honestly. Homemade wine. So can we make bandages in here? I need cloth strips. And it feels a bit like a sort of a more cartoony, simple, simpler, like, Project Zomboid almost, which is a game that I've enjoyed in the past. Oh, there we go. There's some cloth strips. Uh, ma'am, I can't find bandages. It's okay, Klaus. We found some materials to make bandages not long ago. We can work with them a bit and they'll do just fine. Uh, ma'am, I want to learn this. Some scraps. What's that? Check Cody. He's fine. His name's Klaus, goddammit. If anyone's wondering why the kid is now called Klaus, it's because one of my very popular playthroughs from my child, Lebensborn. My son is called Klaus. And you're him. Which, if you haven't seen, go and check that out if you like parental vibes. I do have a thing of playing games with parental vibes. I enjoy them, so there's quite a few of them on the channel. Ma'am, put a bandage on it so the wound don't hurt. Uh... OK. 
Okay. Open your backpack. Bandages. Klaus, look. Mummy put a bandage on it, and the wound sure doesn't hurt anymore. That's great. What do we do next? Let's go downstairs and see. Those sick people should have already left. Okay. Can I hold your hand? I'm still scared. Is there a mechanic for holding your hand? How do I do that? Or are you just saying that? Is there- Oh, <gasps> there is! Oh my god, I love that so much. Come here. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Come with me. Take my hand. That's gonna be so cool. Ah, oh, little nightmares vibes. Yes, what a nice touch. Ma'am, there are, um, and the games load too fast. Home sweet home, it's Christmas. We've got a Christmas tree up. Ma'am, the house has become messy. Yeah, the house isn't just messy. Many things are broken. The tool bench, the food bench, the recycle bench, they're all unusable. I'll help you find the materials. Thank you. Let's go together and see what else we can use. At home, there are still many facilities in a state of disrepair. Repairing and upgrading them as soon as possible will help you survive better. That looks like everything. Is there anywhere we haven't checked yet? I tried to get into backyard, but door lock. Mm -hmm. Guess we lost the key. I think things may have calmed down out the front. Why don't we check out the neighborhood and see if we can find something okay. to open the back door? Snowball. No matter how the world changes, a child's joy remains the same. Fired from a slingshot. We can pick up snowballs. Let's have Cody pick those up. Maybe that was like a Christmas update. Starch. Broken food bench. Okay, so I need wood and scraps to fix that so we can cook. Locked back door. <laughs> we didn't even get to open our presents. The Adventures of Effie Robin. Unlocked in item guide. Crackers and some clean water. Can you teach me this? So I can teach you stuff? Cody's skills. Cody can help with crafting at the tool bench by himself. Craft a slingshot. So I have zero XP, so I need... I'm guessing I need XP to do these. So the Adventures of Effie Robin does... For each correct answer, Cody's stress limit increases by 10% for the next 24 hours. symptoms. Okay, how do I... For each correct answer, Cody's crafting experience gains an extra one. I don't know how I, um... Have you learned that, but I'm sure it'll tell me what I need to. Broken recycling bench. Needs wooden scraps. Ah, we got some wood. Great. The car still starts. Just need a little gas. We can use it to travel. Doesn't the car have lots of problems? I thought we can't drive it far. You're right. The bubble was supposed to fix it, but he was always too busy. Maybe we can fix it. I'll help. Thank you, Klaus. As long as we can get it in working shape, we should be able to drive it a long distance. Oh. <laughs> Let's go outside. To the street. This is what it's come to. Alas, no time for sentimentality. Let's see if there's a tool nearby that can open that back door and hopefully there's still a living neighbor. Alas. Your homework this week is to use alas in casual conversation and just see how the person reacts. <sighs> I was going to go for lunch, but alas, I have more work to do. And just see them look at you like, 
Alas. <laughs> Use the command wheel to give Cody different commands. Ah, cool. I'm glad I'm playing this with a controller. It feels like it's really built for it, honestly. I don't know what you're saying. You want to follow what you want to learn. Need a crowbar. Broken down car. Hold to get gasoline. Ah, teach. Ah, Cody, look at what I'm doing. Ah, so I hold uh, a button whilst I'm doing it and I tell him to look at it. And then I teach my boy. I've abandoned my boy. Come here. Don't look. And a skill open. Oh, I like that. We're teaching him. I, I feel like I'd have been a good teacher, but also, like, kids do my head in sometimes. Ah, what have you got? A lockpick. Who are those people? Are they. Are they. Bobby, I know it's a lot to take in. I wish you didn't have to see this. Man, he was holding a lockpick. What does that do? It picks locks, Klaus. <laughs> use it to unlock doors without a key. We could use it to get into the backyard. Why don't we go home and try it out? Okay. Poor Klaus. No child should see the world like this. Anyone there? Hmm. Mary, is that you? It. Aunt Anling, it's so good to hear your voice. Here's hoping I'm old and this voice suits me. Ma'am, it's really Mary. Uh, Mary, it's Klaus. Klaus? Oh, it's so good to hear familiar voices. It's been so long since I heard one. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, can you let Mary live with us? Thank you, Klaus, but I still want to wait for Mum and Dad to come back home. I'm... I'm a very young old lady. Mary, are your parents not home? Dad used to work in the mine, and Mum went to go find him. She told me to wait. Mary, is there anything we can do for you? Maybe a throat lozenge? I feel like I'm sounding a little bit parched. There's still some food here, but we're out of water. Can you get me some? Distance information for the Lerob mining site has been obtained. Give water. Mary has the water. Oh, thank you. Do you still have enough for yourselves? Don't worry. I can help my mum scavenge for supplies and help you find them too. Klaus, you're really helpful. Here, have some tomato seeds. We're able to, um... Mary wants you to visit her regularly. Okay. We shall do it. So I guess, like, teaching Cody stuff is also, it's this mechanic to keep you bringing him with you. Otherwise, you could just leave him at home, leave him safe. It's that, that balance of danger, of putting you in danger and teaching you. you like, you need to learn this stuff. I know I'm not going to be here forever, one way or another. And... We need to teach you what to do, you know? Let's uh, keep searching. Finding a crowbar would be super helpful, it seems. I'm glad that getting the gas and stuff is pretty easy. And we don't need to, like, oh, have a can, and the can is this full. It's not trying to be too simulation-y, you know. <gasps> we can fetch water from here, from the decaying fountain, but it's got a limited amount.
but I'm liking the vibe. Oh, hello, what's happening here? <gasps> he's up there, what is that? Hang on, ah, so he's like, can see me. Right. So they've got like a vision. I'm slowly pulling this car apart. I don't think I have a stamina or anything. I'm getting different parts from it every time we do it. Wait, you do it. Oh, you can't do it yet. Okay, I'm gonna keep teaching you. Oh, you're hungry. Hang on. Let's just finish this up. Mummy's almost done. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, F that can. What? I mean... Sorry, Mummy. I meant careful, you're almost tripped. Let's hope we have some food for you. Check the fridge. You can store items in the refrigerator or storage box. The refrigerator preserves the freshness of food. Got any munch for you? Only water. Oh, I've got crackers. Right, so how do I feed you a cracker? I check, Cody. You're fine. I want to feed you. So let me go over my inventory. Crackers. Ah, there you go. Mmm, dry cracker. <laughs> so how do I see my own... Ah, there's my food, bottom left, you see? 58 and 46. Okay, so that's filled you... Oh no, your food is a question mark to me. I wonder why that's... I can't see it. In that case, I'll give you my next cracker too. I want you to eat, my boy. We'll fix the food bench, and I'll teach you how to do it. Look at what I'm doing. See how I piece it together? You can do this too. Yes! Oh, I've learned something. Good job, Cody. Great. Can you show me what you learned? Go to Cody's skills to unlock various skills. Right. So you've got crafting, 1 XP. What would be useful here? Ah, there's different requirements, I see. And you've learned this. Capable of opening storage containers. And that's it so far. But I don't unlock things. I just I unlock things by doing. So here he he finds three objects, and then that will unlock the ability to loot defeated enemies. Or you can spend 100 XP there to advance a skill that you've already got. Okay. Gotcha. So with starch, I got a 60% chance of making a basic meal. 20% chance. Wait. One starch is a 60% chance. Okay, 80%, 80, 80%, I went French, 80% of making one basic meal. Confirm. teach you how to cook. And we used it. Alright. Got more starch here. Let's get this uh, door unlocked. Okay, more bandages. I mean, we really should have done something with this. I told your father for years we should have done more with this back porch. I mean, look at all this wasted space. It doesn't matter now, but God. I told him I wanted a little plant house out here. Oh. Oh my God, a zombie. Stay back. I'm scared. Don't be afraid. Well, luckily, it's stuck in a trap. Stay back. Mama will deal with it. Okay. Mama Bear got this. <sighs> a 
a weapon. Be careful. Mama's got this. Baseball bat. Baseball bat. There's baseball bats in my logo up there. It's my old logo, just from... I, mean, I don't have a new one, but it's just been mine forever. From uh, playing Daisy, I always used baseball bats and collected teddy bars. Alright, target lock. Switch target. So am I locked on you? Ah, here we go. So I can move like that to aim and release. Ah! <laughs> Man, what are you doing? Sorry. Ah. Getting busted. It's been some time since I swung a bat at a zombie. Mom, I'm scared. Don't be afraid. Fear won't let you escape this nightmare. Since zombies are everywhere, I think it's time for you to learn how to protect yourself. I don't know what to do. It's hard to get started, but don't you like to play with slingshots? I think you can start by hitting targets with a slingshot. Come, come with me. Meh. <gasps> You're bleeding. No, <laughs> shit, shit, shit. It's fine, your mama's fine, don't worry. Mom, you don't look fine. Guess I better use a bandage. that stop my bleeding? The door's probably blocked again. Jacob always left this place in such a mess. Ah, look, farm stuff. We can grow food out here. Jacob was going to take Klaus there to play arcade games. I need to find a suitable weapon and teach Kobe. him. Hit this target. Okay. Here's your slingshot. Pick it up. Too scared. Can I? How do I? Ah, comfort. Oh, it's okay, little guy. It's gonna be okay. Now pick this up and learn how to kill zombies. You need a weapon. You have a weapon. Wow! Nearly took mummy's eye out. You got it. Keep going. Good job, Cody. Ah, oh, it's broken. Do you think Dad will get mad? He spent a long time making it. Don't worry, we'll fix it. It'll be our little secret. I should keep an eye on the time. Ah, oh, wait. Keep an eye on the time. It's seven p.m. Okay. Can I reset this trap? That might help. Don't step in it, boy. There's now a consistent source of electricity coming to the house. No need to use the generator now. Oh. Maybe it'll run out, though. Then I'll have to use it. It's on the TV. Mama, I hear something on TV. Hmm? The TV's on? I wonder if there'll be any news. Yeah, it was on when I came back in. Let me change channel. Nothing. Is it broken? Let Mama check. How is it? It's definitely broken. Check this out. The circuit board, it's fried. Circuit boards? I heard Uncle John talking about them. Wow, I'm always collecting circuit boards, he said. Mm, he does have the same TV as us. We should pay him a visit. Don't think I'm allowed to go there. Why? Last time I was there, I was playing with slingshots and... Don't worry, I'm sure Uncle John would have forgiven you by now. Besides, he's probably not there. He should have left with the other evacuation group. Okay. Let's go to Unks. How is John, who lives at the farm, doing? So, do we sleep? Or do we try and get it done before time? 
I feel like going in the morning would be the smart move. Going out at night time in um, survival games? Uh, Ill-advised. So, let's make sure we're looting, looting, looting. And Ling, today's your wedding day. Sorry we can't be there. It's too far and we can't travel with our health issues. We wish you happiness and good health. Don't worry. Baba Mama, 1982. An old letter from my parents. I mean, why have I still got that out just on the side, you know? What's the deal? You thirsty, boy? How do we... Oh, I didn't want to drink it, but... Here we go. For you. Alright, bedtime. peaceful night without the harassment of zombies. After some sleep handling and Cody, Klaus's injuries have slowly healed. With the heater on, Cody's recovered from the cold. Alright, now we'll head out. So now I have fuel. Perhaps we can die. Or do we have to fix this up first? Storage in the back. Fix the engine, I can do it. Oh, I get it, I'm a mechanic now. Okay. So then how do we drive it? Maybe we go outside to do it. World map. Ah, transferring within highlighted range around your home will not result in gasoline being used, I assume. Upgrade your vehicle to increase fuel capacity. Main locations have icons, can enter the randomly occurring unsafe areas when traveling. And there is the farm. Cool. Reminds me of traveling around the Fallout 1 map, and you can like run into little random encounters and stuff. Playing that as a kid. John's house up ahead. What happened to this place? I hope John and Lily are safe. Entering stealth. Crowbar. Okay, let's be stealthy. You're hungry? Really? Now? Eat this. Mmm, tasty! Shh! I mean, oh, tasty. Yo, who's that? I feel like I'm gonna have to fight this one. Because it's... Not really playing ball, is it? It's coming. But it's trying to teach me stealth, so surely I'm meant to sneak around it, no? You wait here. Wait, how do I... Do I have to re-equip the weapon? Out of stealth mode. And then... I have this equipped. Hang on. <gasps> ah, there we go. Sorry, I couldn't remember how to... Right, let's sneak up on it. Okay. Ah, got him. Who's out there? Don't even think about luring those zombies over here. I'll kill you. I ain't joking. Bill, they look like they might be in danger, shouldn't we? Shut up. I'm the one calling the shots. You hear me? You shit your goddamn mouth. <laughs> Why'd you lure those freaks here? You trying to get us killed? You know what? Forget it. Get off my property or I'll shoot you. It wasn't me. They were here when we arrived. They were just wandering. We didn't mean you any harm. Bill, calm down. Those zombies or whatever you call them come by here all the time. God knows why you think today is any different. 
Howdy. Don't mind my husband. Are you hungry or thirsty? I'm sorry we can't invite you in, but if you need anything, we'll do our best to help. Brandy, you shit your chat, won't you? Don't play the saint. We don't have enough supplies for ourselves. If you say another word, I'll feed you to the zombies, you hear me? But this place is supposed to be... What? What are you still doing here? It's my house. A scram. This is John's home. What? I've been living here for 30 years. You really came here to stir trouble, didn't you? I've had it. I'm done with you. I guess we're done being polite then. Take this. What? Take back the fu- Why? You just shot my child. Oh my god. What the heck? Wait here. Are you bleeding? Are you okay? What are you doing, sir? <gasps> yeah. I'm gonna kill you. It's my farm. Oh god. You must run out of bullets eventually. You shot my child. Ah. Uh, uh, what you get? Uh, I ain't having it. Uh, I told you to stay uh, there, uh, child. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 Use the slingshot. Use the slingshot. Damn, I'm still too kind. I should have just set fire to this. Huh? Ma'am, they didn't look like monsters. Why did they attack us? Well, who knows? But I won't forgive whoever did this to you. Okay, me too. They can't stop you and me. What a crazy fool. Bill? He's dead. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. I didn't do it. Don't kill me. It's all Bill. It's all him. I didn't mean to kill anyone. Don't you move. Where's John? You go to the barn. Don't ask me. I don't know. I can't control Bill. What did you do? said. Mama just had to kill a man. Mama. Let's take a look. What did they do? Mama, it's a mess in there. Why does it stink? Something strange is going on here. Stay close. Cruel goodbye. Go to the second floor of the barn. And that's how you break and enter. Come on. Oh my goodness. My Mr. Uncle John and Aunt Lilla. Don't look. Close your eyes. What's happening? Why did he also become... I'm sorry. I wish you hadn't seen anything. Bill, what have you done? I thought about leaving him behind, but... Oh, he's got a helmet. Oh, it pushed me downstairs. What the hell? I thought about leaving the kid outside, but he needs to see this. You can uh, wait here now. There you go. He has to see what people are capable of. I told you to stay, didn't I? <gasps> I have the gun, but I reckon we got this. Oh, the bat's gonna break. Cody, help me! I mean, Klaus, uh... uh. Oh, 
That was close. My inventory's full. Um, okay, bandage. And what else can we do here so we're not just full all the time? I'll have one of these, and you can have one of these. There we go. A little food after killing people, it's fine. Handling looked in shock as the female corpse lay in front of her, trying to hold back her nausea caused by the stench. She recognized the clothes the corpse was wearing, a gift Handling gave last Christmas. She knew who was laying in front of her. Lily? Oh no, what happened to you? John's a zombie and you... Oh my god. But why isn't she a zombie? A, a football helmet? J did John do this? The weather's gotten warmer, the zombies don't seem to be affected. Two survivors on the farm today look like they were scouting the place, the last page of his diary. So he turned and then killed her. Whoa. Come here. Comfort, comfort, comfort. Listen, you'll probably never recover from this, but with any luck, one day you'll be able to talk to a therapist about it when the world goes back to normal. Alright, we're going to have to come back here after uh, filling the back of the truck up, I think. Mummy's pockets are full, alright? Let's go. Um, Uncle John, Aunt Lily. I know. Why? Why was Uncle John one of them? I'm sorry you had to see that. No child should have to see something like that. It's even hard for your mama, but we have to keep going, you hear me? Keep going? Why are we here? Do you remember? Find Uncle John. Get the circuit board. But Uncle John, who's... How do we get it now? We ask someone who's still alive. Come on. Let's go to the house and find Brandy. Hopefully she's still around. Get that circuit board and find out what happened here. But first, we're going to store some stuff. In the back of the truck, because... I didn't come prepared. Nice bit of rotten meat. I can only put... I mean, what kind of truck is this? I'm going to put five things in there. Broken bat, a broken bat. Do you drop it once it's broken bat? Like, can we read these books so that we don't have to, you know, carry them everywhere? And let's put in here something else. The alcohol, I guess. Now, in my inventory, I can only drop that. I don't know how to read the damn thing. <sighs> I only have the option to select it, and it just says drop. Maybe we have to do it like at a uh, thing. Alright, come here. you at? Where did you go, Brandy? Knock, knock, you psycho. You saw it all. I advised Bill. He doesn't listen to me, and he's gonna lock me up there. I'm scared. I'm sorry. Who are you? What's really going on here? I'm Brandy. The man you killed was Bill. We didn't know things would turn out like this. I didn't know. I just want to know the truth. I don't want to hurt anyone. Take your time and tell me what happened here. I I talked Bill into it. We had escaped the camp and came here and John took us in. We worked for him, although we were tired and rarely rested. Just because John asked you to work, you killed him? Oh, you, you don't know what John made us do. It was slavery. But even so, I never wanted to hurt Mr. and Mrs. John. 
how did Mr. and Mrs. John become the way they are now? It was because of the zombies. They broke into the farm that day, and Bill and I hid in the second floor of the barn while John took the gun and went to kill them. And you two didn't help. Did you just watch John get mobbed by zombies? We wanted to help, but John made us turn in all our weapons when we got here. Then John got hurt. He took Lily to the second floor of the barn and threatened us with a gun. He wanted us to get rid of the zombies, not only kicking us out of the building, but locking the door as well. Her voice trembles. And then what happened? We wiped out the zombies and rushed back only to hear John's yells and Lily's cries for help. He took her life. How did it go? I don't know. I knelt down. I begged Bill to save Lily. He wouldn't listen to me. I really want to go and save Lily, but Bill said if I spoke again, he'd lock me inside the second floor. Please, don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I need you to do me a favor. I'm here looking for a circuit board. Where is it? I'll go look for it. I wondered if there was going to be a choice of dealing with her. Hey. If you know what I mean. Take a look. Is this what you want? Yes, that's the one. It's not so easy. Yoink. I feel trapped and unable to escape Bill's influence. Well, Bill's dead, babe, so you should be alright, to be honest with you. Bill's dead, baby. Bill's dead. I found a zombie outside the farm wearing a firefighter uniform that could spit venom. The uniform enhances its resistance to attacks. If I can't interrupt its attack, it's best to dodge the venom and then strike it down with a weapon. Damn, this tough zombie took all my attention, resulting in my arm getting bitten by another zombie. I gotta go back now. Hopefully nothing goes wrong and Lily won't see this. She won't be able to handle it. I'm her only support. Well, dear diary, everything went wrong. I hope Lily doesn't see this, but uh... Anyway, here's some information on zombies that spit. It'll take a little bit of time to write down some tactical information. And uh, best of luck to you. I'm sure nothing untoward is going to happen to me as I return to the second floor of the bar with my wife. And a good day to you. Oh, we can't go upstairs. Uh, two good news today. There are... There are two good news today. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. He compromised and we are back on track. The experiment will continue. As he said, my withdrawal would have caused endless stagnation to the project. The blow would have been devastating. I also made this makes no sense. Maybe I should learn to be independent. I'm sorry about John and Lily. We almost got caught in the South Survivor campground after we escaped six kilometers outside the National Park. We were almost killed with an axe by a madman. Don't kick me out. If I leave now, there's only death awaiting me. Alas. Fine. You can stay. Thank you. I have a request. Do you want to stay here? Yes. If I'm going to die if I leave here. I don't want to die yet. It's not my farm. The owner is dead. You're alive. Thank you. I'll take care of this place. These potatoes are ones I planted. Accept them as a token of my gratitude. In a few days, the newly planted potatoes should be ripe as well. I'll save some for you and pray to the Lord for your return. Okay, so by keeping her alive, we get um, potatoes every so often. Which is handy. I mean, honestly, in a zombie apocalypse... Revenge and retribution would be, you know, like we killed Bill. You're chill. You seem to be chill about it. You're now safe. What's the point? I mean, take care of this place. Let's just have each other's backs, kind of thing. No point me hurting you as well if you were kind of a woman under the influence of a terrible man. Let's fill up our water bottles. Okay, it's a lot of presents out here, so I can, I need axe, okay. Oh, I'm sure there's something around here. 
shabby toolbox. Get some useful supplies out of it. How's my inventory? Looking pretty full. So we might go home and build stuff and then like come back. Okay, now we're full. All right, let's go home. We can store stuff back there. It's also getting to be evening. We can come back here whenever we need to, okay, bud? Let's go home. Infinite snowballs. What can I repair? The recycling bench. I need planks. So that's probably something I have to make somewhere else. What about our workbench here? Tool bench, yes. I'm enjoying this so far. If you are, hit that like button now if you haven't already. Give us a little thumbs up. Let's me know. Let's YouTube know you want to see more like it. Okay, so I can make a baseball bat. I can turn sawdust into wood. Scraps into a crowbar. Ah, wood planks. So I need more of those. I can turn the clothes into strips. A dagger. And then if we level it up, we can make even more stuff. Buddha Shrine Jacob bought for me. I guess he bought it to make me feel more comfortable in America. Truth be told, I don't think I've seen one of these in a house back in China. The shrine carries the memories of the family. Manually save your progress. Nice. I can make homemade wine from potato. Ma'am, would it not be better for us to eat those potatoes? Mummy needs to drink, Klaus. We're in a zombie apocalypse. Mummy needs her wine, okay? Mummy needs her vino. Mummy, I'm hungry. <laughs> the phones are down. I just hear a busy tone. It's night time. Oh, repair the TV. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Before we sleep. That's what, we came, that's what we came there to do, isn't it, boy? Where's that TV? <laughs> Ma'am, look, it's working. Listen carefully. It's talking about something related to evacuation. Emergency broadcast. Recent rescue attempts failed multiple times. Residents in disaster zone tried to contact Officer Willie. He'll be organizing further operations. According to expert estimates, final evacuation on September 26th. There will be no more after that. September 26th, that's in 58 days. Why isn't there only a specific time for that day? Ma'am, it seems like they keep repeating it, and the signal's getting worse. The information we've received is limited. We have to wait 58 days? That's too long. We need to find more survivors as soon as possible and see if they have more information. With our abilities, we'll start exploring nearby places first. The Alaska supermarket and the central district. Hopefully they aren't too chaotic. Ma'am, now the TV's fixed, can we check the weather? You're right. Let's take a look at the weather. So we can check the weather for places that we want to go to. So the top one. 
According to meteorological weather maps, there's a chance of precipitation in Aries Town and the surrounding areas for 24 hours. Alaskan Supermarket and Downtown District and Crown Carnival a low probability of light rain. Even in areas with light rain, low temperatures and prolonged exposure to rain can still harm the health of the elderly and children. Take precaution. There will be no poisonous fog for the next 24 hours. Criminal investigation files, the most authentic case investigations, unveiling the most brutal criminal realities and letting you experience the most accurate crime scenes. Mummy, I don't want to listen to this. Uh, it's a bit scary. Mummy needs her true crime fix, baby. All right, so why don't you just toddle off and play somewhere while I drink my potato wine and listen to my true crime podcast, okay? As the case progresses, the neighbor reveals even more astonishing information. Clues to another case that occurred on Forest Highway 107. The broadcast has finished. Next time, goodbye. Jacob likes to buy these kinds of TV shows. With everything going on outside, the signal provided by this TV station is so clear. Mama's a true crime gorily. Will there be enough supplies in the supermarket? Are there any remaining supplies in the town? If you feel lost about what to do next, pause to watch television. Life be like. Are you confused with what to do next with your life? Have you tried bed rot? Pull up your phone or tablet, lay on your side, and do nothing for an entire day. The only thing you will do is move your thumb. A little bit here, a little bit there, to scroll, scroll, scroll. Or to select something on Netflix. Curl up on your side and watch whatever you want. Pull the cover over your head and watch anime for 24 hours. New and improved bed rot. <laughs> Guaranteed to fix your life. At least that's what we tell you. A peaceful night. Our injuries have healed. Okay, so we can sleep to heal injuries too. Gotcha. We better cook some breakfast. Brecky, brecky, brecky. I want red break. Mommy gonna make a potato. Potato and starch. Your favorite. And I'll try and make that one with a 20%. Wait, do we have more? any more ingredients? I better not, honestly. Hmm. Would be a risk. Here you go. What can we put in the fridge? Unclean water. It needs to be filtered. Okay. Now, we have storage here. I'm going to store the books and the batteries and things like that that are probably pretty specific to crafting until we need to use them. We can plant there after unlock the door. I mean, do I, s I wonder if I still need the farmland key if I've opened it and I've left her there. I wonder... Okay, that's probably all I want to store. I'll keep the rest in my pocket for now. Let's um see what else we can do here. I can leave you sat here to chill out for a bit. Uh, what should we play? Let's tell a story. Oh, cute! And you get navigation, empathy, or social. When you're present, trades with merchants receive a discount. And they give you a buff. Use an item to restore health. Restores the same amount, 5%. Speed of traveling. That's very sweet. I mean, I don't really need these buffs right now, but honestly, let's see. If we get, like, a little cutscene or anything. That's so cute. This is a story about a pirate named Ake, and today's title is Ake's Dream. From a young age, 
I'm going to change his name to Aki. He's had a deep fascination with adventure and pirate stories. He would often secretly read books about the sea and mysterious treasures. In the eyes of his family, he was a dreamy child always filled with adventurous imagination. One day, Aki made the decision to pursue his dream of becoming a real pirate. He bid farewell to his family and embarked on a journey to seek treasure. Aki's heart was filled with courage and determination. We'll keep going. I was enjoying that. If you want to hear the rest of that story, join me on Down to Sleep, where I read books every week. Which is also not a bit, that is actually real. My podcast, it's on Spotify, YouTube, and wherever you get podcasts, and I read you bedtime stories. Missing essential items. I can put John's helmet there, what, as like a trophy? That's a bit messed up, isn't it? Bloody hell. Um, right, we want to empty our pockets and then go back to the farm and collect everything. Is what we want to do. Keeping only essentials with us. Let's go have a right old rummage and loot, shall we, darling? A right old rummage. Oof, I'm playing this with the light off and a candle on, and it smells good. I think it's pancakes and pumpkin. Let me see. Can't see it. Pumpkin and spice. And uh, it smells so good. It makes me hungry. I like food candles best. Helps make me feel warmer in this freezing weather. Cold enough to snow like a few times the last week, but none of it's settling. It just looks frosty out there, unfortunately. I'd love it to actually properly snow. I would definitely go for a walk in that nice crisp. Don't you just love the sound of like the crunch of snow under your feet when you walk and it's been snowing? That's the good stuff right there. Right, let's loot this place. Hopefully we find some foodstuffs. Shabby clothes for you. What's this? A megaphone. So if I have, um... I can repair that if I have some stuff which I left back at home. I wonder if it's like a alarm or something? Or it attracts zombies? So what's this? Starch in the grain mill and... Oh, three potatoes and starch comes out. Okay. So if we collect potatoes from Missy in there... Then we'll get some stuff. Mummy hungry. Mummy, why are we going back in the scary place where Uncle John is dead and we killed him? Well, Mummy decided she wants a little trophy, baby. So I'm taking this helmet home. To remember this wonderful day by. Okay. <laughs> Dear diary, I'm worried about Mummy. Pretty sure I picked up the stuff I need to fix this. Let's see what this does. Um, is that what we wanted? I don't... Hello? I didn't... Oh dear. Why is that doing that? What's the point of that? Stop it! There's nothing I can do with it. 
hopefully going to attract some. And there's another one here. Oh, hold to turn on. Right. So I guess if the place is under attack, you can use those for some reason. Okay, what's up here? We don't have an axe yet for chopping trees, but that seems to be a thing we can do as well. Let's scavenge the rest of this car. You can't dismantle it yet, okay. Once he learns how to do things, we'll probably be much faster too. Mama Bear just pulling a car, car apart with her hands. With these bare hands, the same that killed your Uncle John. I'm gonna stop. Okay. Wow, that bird scared me. Oh, and also revealed to me because I jumped and squeezed the controller that I can... Oh, that's when I go into stealth mode. That zooms out a bit. Another adventure book. Okay. I think that is the whole place looted. I believe. Let's have a very quick butcher's... Ah, oh, there's another place here. Hang on. Hang on, sweetie. I need the key! God damn it! So that's what the key was for. And then I can plant crops in there, I think. Uh, and what's up here? Where does this go? A tree house! It's not a good time to climb up into the tree house. Hmm. When would be a good time to climb up into the tree house? Go home. Oh no, you need water, baby. I'm gonna hydrate. We just gotta get home. Work out how to filter our water. Um, how are we gonna do that? I'm not sure. Can I not just like... Ah, we can just... Yes, spoil it. There we go. Boiling up some water. Now, you can have a drink. I can have a drink. Everybody have a drink. Including you watching at home. Hydrate for me. Have a sip. If you don't have some water, go and bloody get some. There we go. Ma'am, I miss Uncle and Aunt. Mum misses them too very much. That's why you find me staring at this helmet in the night. Thinking about what I did. Definitely going to need to expand our inventory, aren't we? Okay. I think it's going pretty well so far. Oh, I just thought we'd better check on that kid, actually. That neighbor suddenly occurred to me. When continuing this. Been a couple of days, I think. Oh no. And fixed. Look at that. See? We can practice as many times as we want. Yes! Or Sam must be talking about the, um, do I have my volume turned up? No, it's suddenly so loud. Anyway. Must be talking about the thing in the garden. Mary, are you okay? 
Are you still alive, Mary? Mary, I'm here to see you. Klaus, you're here. It's so good to hear your voice and know that you're safe. Don't worry, I can take care of myself. I also want to grow up quickly so I can take care of my mum. Be careful, stay safe. I will. Are your supplies enough? I still have some supplies. The water you gave me last time is almost gone. You and Mrs. Angling stay safe. Give her some water. Mary, I can only give you this much. It'll be enough. Do you have enough? Don't worry about us. We can still go find supplies. Are you sure you don't want to stay? I'll just wait at home for my mum and dad to come back. Everything will be better when they're back. Aren't you scared to be alone? Sometimes I am. But I usually cover my head with a blanket when I sleep. When I fall asleep, I don't feel scared anymore. And I can even see my parents in my dreams. You're brave. You're brave too. <laughs> More seeds. I don't think Mary's gonna make it, guys. Gotta be honest. I should keep an eye on the time. So let's make sure we've looted this area. Seems like we need to um, find more survivors. To move things forward. Which means exploring a bit more, so let's make sure we're done here. And also fill up water. This is how you fill the bottle up. Hey, I'm not an idiot. I think I was born yesterday. Oh yeah, we didn't come down this way before. Ah! Wait. Get him. Don't be scared. It's okay. Smash it. <gasps> Use the slingshot, son. Did my weapon break? The weapon broke. Uh, run. That's not good. Side. Probably shouldn't have wasted using my crowbar as a weapon. Because I was using that to open stuff. Okay. I can make another one though. It's okay. And then we'll make a bat. Let's sleep. We'll go finish the job tomorrow. Bedtime. 56 days. I wonder if I literally have to sleep 56 times to finish this game. Or what it mean? Oh, symptoms. Oh, not a good thing. Duration of symptoms will not deplete during sleep and travel. I have to pick one symptom. Dementia. Unable to use a tool, repair, and food benches for the day. Aphasia. Unable to read. Fragile. 35% extra damage when she takes damage for 36 hours. Um... I guess I'll take unable to read. No bedtime stories for the day. Do I have to take one? I do, damn it. 
getting a bit hungry. Hungry, you say? Let's go cook. Getting a bit hungry. Heard you the first time, darling. Let's go ahead and make that. 40% chance of two basic meals. I mean, this could be breakfast for us both right here. Let's hope. I also get like a little bit of this or mine vibes with the cooking and stuff. By Jove, I think it worked. One for me, one for you. Do the water. They should have let you name your kid. Oh wait, I have something to show you. Hang on. Come with me, little Klaus. Look at this that I found. I mean, it's not a discovery, but just like I didn't notice it before, you save it. Um, hang on, how do we... Look! Time to get dressed up for the day, little Klaus. It's so cute. We can change our outfit. I feel like this hat is totally a, um, Clem. Clementine like ref, right? What should we have Mama wear? Mama can put a little baseball cap on. And you've got different outfits as well. That are obviously like references to things. You know, like the Kill Bill suit. Pirate outfit and other stuff. It's like a squid game outfit there. We'll keep the traditional mother suit. Oh my god! A giant panda suit. I didn't see that. Do I want to break immersion running around as a giant panda? No. But that's awesome. Hang on. Um, We will. Current outfit's not been saved. Save, right. We didn't keep your hat on. Okay. Look, a little pumpkin head. A little cowboy hat. Oh my gosh, actually, this is what we'll go with. <laughs> my mind is feeling a bit scared today, so I need to be brave like a dinosaur. Yeah, you can be a little dinosaur today if it helps you feel braver. Because if I was a dinosaur, then the... The zombies will be scared of me, and I don't have to be scared of them. I can roar at them. Okay, but just remember to use your slingshot too, okay? Okay. I'm a diner with a slingshot. You are. You're adorable and brave, okay? Yeah, okay. Teach me how to make a bandage in case I get a dino cut. Isn't that cute? The game just became a million times more meaningful. <laughs> Alright, what else can we make? Planks? I needed some planks, didn't I? I need scraps there. So, right, get my scraps out, store all this stuff, not using those for now, another book, um, store the seeds for now, I'm guessing I need my recycling thing so I can recycle stuff that's broken, and we'll make cloth strips out of those shirts. Um, oh, 
Why do I feel like shabby clothes were used for something else that I might have needed? I don't see anything there. Ah, oh, you can help me! At the oh, that's adorable. He was helping me craft at the table. Okay. So, store that. It says get useful supplies out of this toolbox. Can I, like, open it, though? I must need to, like, do something else with it. Make sure I have good space in the inventory and I'll take the keys with me in case we go to the farmland. Oh, I need five of those. What are those? Can I see? I need charcoal. Where am I going to get charcoal from? To make a fire or something. Oh, I wanted to world map, not go to the street. Sorry, two seconds. Oh no, we were going to go and deal with those other zombies, weren't we? That's great. Use one of these bandages then. What's this? Meat! What's this? That's the world map escaping. Okay, and then we want to search everything. Oh, what's that? Newspaper. That one zombie to. Oh god, I didn't equip. There you go. It's okay, my little dinosaur. You did a good roar. this note. Oh, I can't read today. Oh, damn it. Can you read? Nah, I'm a dinosaur. God. Okay. Can we not get over? Guess not. Broken bridge pieces. I don't know why you're not helping me with the combat, child. Can't read these notes. Pretty sure that's everything done here, baby. Let's hit the road, okay? Gonna have to find others. We'll take the car. Probably gotta take you out back to uh, practice some more. Okay, let's go to the s no, supermarket. Wait, what's this one? An unsafe area. Go to the supermarket. The supermarket. I finally arrived. I hope there are supplies here, and I hope there are no zombies. Oh no. Over there is... Alright, so this is our car. Oh, my inventory's already... F I should have gone... The inventory's driving me crazy, to be honest. Like, what is the point of looting here if I have all of this crap on me? Can I upgrade my backpack yet? Oh, that's what the shabby clothes were for. Absolutely making a mare of this, aren't I? What is that? <gasps> Bear zombie. Okay, this is... No. No. Let's go home. 
we can't risk that with uh, our pockets full. Just wasted some gasoline, but we won't waste our lives. So, let's make sure we're storing everything before we go there. I'm going to take the gun with me, I think. Actually, I should be able to do this now. Yep. I'm helping. So now I can disassemble stuff. So I'm wondering if I can disassemble broken things. Yep. Nice. This is how we smash things up. Yeah, I like that bit. Okay. Let's keep everything here, I guess. But we're not using. Not the bandages. I may well have to use those, mightn't I? Oh! What did I store? A bandage. A bandage. Got clean water. Plenty of clean water. Let's take the uh, bullets, and then it looks like this has got durability on it. The handgun. Can I repair it? Don't think I can. Doesn't look like it can do it on here. Maybe in here I can upgrade it. Oh no, that's my backpack. Oh, I can't. I'll just have to find another one. Um, right, come on. There's still time. How are we for food? Be prepared here. Let me bandage. Okay. Seemed like it was pretty busy with zombies, didn't it? He's got a gun. Do you know what? We should probably be stealthing this, actually, babe. Come on. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <gasps> Unhand him! <laughs> Mummy, it hurts. Be strong. Mama will treat you as soon as she can. Hang in there. <laughs> Comfort. It's getting dark. Bandage. You're gonna be okay. Mommy can't read right now. Let's see if we can't get something before we go home. Can't get that whilst I'm in stealth. Ah, ah. Okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Too much attention here. How's my last bullet? Oh, the gun is broken. Oh, it's a spitter. Come on, kid. We didn't come this far for nothing. Maybe we did. <laughs> it's a dead end. I need to stop and comfort my little dinosaur every two seconds. 
Probably distract them with that stuff, right? So there's the big bear in there. How do I get around to the actual supermarket? Or maybe I can't. Maybe this is the supermarket area. And there actually isn't a way in. What can the bear do from there? Nothing. Can't get through, no? break it to get you. Come on. Don't be scared of the bear. He's one of us. It's okay. Silly bear. Look at him in there. In his pretty little dress, you know? Don't worry about this guy or that guy. We just keep going. Just keep running. We're just having a look. Okay, so that's a dead end. It looks like it mazes its way around, right? You need to find more people. We should go home soon. Yes, we should. Thank you for watching. That's what we're going to put a pin in this one. Do hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in a comment. i got to be honest, this game isn't what I expected, and it's not exactly what I wanted either. You know me, I love story-rich, narrative-heavy, bring the emotions, and I don't think I'm going to get that from this game, so I probably won't be continuing with it, but I hope you enjoyed this first look. I would have loved to have seen it really focusing on the relationship, um, but it's just kind of got a bit grindy, and I think it's like 20 hours to finish this game. And it just doesn't make me want to continue through to the end. But let me know what you think in a comment and if you would check this game out for yourself. And there are some videos on the screen if you want to go on another adventure right now.